So hole number one. This is a dog leg left and um, it has a very tiny green guarded by two bunkers. Um, I hit a really bad drive here and just flared it out to the right. Normally I um, I hit a good you know drive down down the center and um, I'm only like a hundred to a hundred forty out. So yeah pushed it so far right I hit the tree and it ricocheted over here and um, I had a pretty far distance so I went with a four iron and uh, just trying to put it close to the green had to go over that tree right there too hit a pretty good shot uh, just ended up left side just in front of that bunker you know this was uh, not an easy chip right here so um, I had to kind of flop it up it was on an uphill lie and try to get it to bite i landed it a few yards too far but um my goal was to land on the fringe where i landed like a couple feet onto the front onto the green So this hole's pretty interesting. It's technically a dog leg right, but it's pretty straight. If you go straight through those big trees down there, I do like to go to the right side and uh, leave myself a different angle in so you're not fighting the wind. Um, usually I'm only like 60 to 80 yards out from over there. If you hit a bomb, you can probably reach. Um, I just hit a little draw there and it was a decent shot. So yeah, I'm just using a sand wedge here and uh, trying to play a little uh, pitch up there and it got a weird bounce and kick to the right. Um, these greens are pretty good. Uh, they're not too fast, uh, but they roll pretty true. I like them. Almost made this putt here. So this par five is a dog leg left with a severe left to right wind. Um, be careful, you long hitters trying to bomb it. Um, you'll end up way right and you'll have a long shot in. So try to stay left center if possible. Aloha everybody. Welcome back to Paradise Golf Adventures. Today we are out on the central west i would say um in waipahu playing at ted macalena's it's a state-owned course um pretty decent condition it's flat so not too hard very wide open um but it is always windy here like today it's about 20 25 miles an hour um that's like normal here uh, it's in like this valley like near the ocean so kind of just um the wind just kind of swirls in here and stuff anyways sorry it's been a while since i've uh seen you guys um hope you enjoyed my other videos um i'm just gonna play a few holes maybe nine here and uh see how it goes i don't play here a lot but just want to introduce it it's a good good course for uh people to learn um good course to walk you know super easy to walk uh, it's relatively cheap. It's the same as all the state-owned courses. I think right now the prices range though raised up. You know, like um, 24 bucks. I think for 18. Not too bad still. Um, still no twilight because of the corona. But I'll probably come back soon too. So it's a little busy during like this kind of day. It's like noonish, one o'clock. 
beautiful out here though. Look at this. So we're on a par five right now. And uh, got a second shot. It looks about, about 210 out. I pumped that drive. About 210 to the flag. Gonna go with a five iron. A little bit of side wind. Miss. miss hit that uh, approach shot off the toe of my club there um, pretty good miss though I ended up right in front of the green and um, I was trying to go right at the flag that's why so it flared out just a little right um, I got this chip here I have to go over this hump and uh, my goal is to just you know kind of bump it up and let it run out to the hole So you take that little sand wedge in the back of the stance so it'll bite but it'll still roll out a little bit simple birdie this straightforward short par three is kind of difficult with this severe right to left wind and also it's coming at you in your face um, I recommend clubbing up one or two clubs. I also recommend hitting a draw like I did here. Um, at least aiming five or ten yards to the right side of the green. Do not try to hit a fade. You will come up short. So yeah, I ended up getting a good look at birdie here. Kind of long, but um, these greens were uh, rolling pretty true and uh, I was reading them pretty well all day. I uh, came close to making this, but you know, close doesn't count in golf. Uh, ended up uh, just uh, walking up there and tapping in for my par. And yes, I did tap in left-handed. I tend to do that sometimes. So this is a very reachable par four. The only difficult thing is there's a giant tree, then a bunker right in front of the green. Also, if you go long, you're in trouble. So I like to hit a three wood um, to the right here and have a simple pitch approach shot to the green. Um, this is exactly what I did. I'm trying to play kind of a low pitch here so it can uh, land on the front edge and then roll up, but I just I get a really bad bounce here and end up with the difficult long birdie putt. That is a weird bounce. Woo! Woo! Here's another short par three, seemingly easy, but again, wind from left to right is pretty severe coming into your face also. Um, I recommend playing the fade here um, to try to go with the wind. Um, mine didn't fade. Ended up right here with this uh, kind of a long chip shot off the green. Kind of bad shot there. <laughs> led to uh my first bogey of the round which is uh unfortunate because um i was putting so good today and just ended up missing that short one so this par five is kind of short but severe wind in your face at least 25 yards 30 yards of hurt um so you're gonna lose that on your drive still uh managed to get one down the center um and uh, left myself with like about 220 
in. Just kind of lay up where your ball is. I'll be happy with that. I'm not gonna reach anyway with this, even with my three wood. It's too windy. Maybe I would have reached. That was a four iron. Next time I'll just uh, try to go for it. So I have a very similar chip um, as like a few holes back. I just have to kind of get it up about halfway to the hole and let it release up. Um, I totally started off on the wrong line and then it just didn't release back to the hole there. But pin high, not too bad. Not too bad. And a little pin high, five foot birdie putt. This crazy long par four is over 470 yards. Um, dog leg right. It does luckily play with the wind. So I like to hit it just over that edge of the trees in front of us. Um, the cart path goes right down there. Just usually crush a bomber because of the wind. Okay. Hard to read that wind. Just roll over off the back, but just hard to read the wind. The ground's really hard right here. And um yeah. Tough, tough pin location, kind of in the back, so should be an easy chip. Take the par. Hole number nine, a short par five. Um, actually shorter than the par four we just played. <laughs> um, it has severe left to right winds and in your face, it's a dog leg left. So you wanna definitely play it to the left corner there. Um, so you have an easy approach shot in. Um, I played it to the right, which I bombed it, but I'm going to have a long approach shot in and I'm going to have to play it into the wind. Very difficult. So push that shot a little to the right, ended up about 30 yards here to the right of the green. Um, 
Just gonna try a little flop shot, put it close and give myself a good look at birdie. Got a birdie putt. Right on guys, thank you for joining me today. I'll come back and play the back nine one day. I know I keep saying that I want to come back and play back nine everywhere. Um, but it's just a little sample taste of uh, Ted Macalena's and other courses, you know. Uh, I'll do full videos one day too soon. It's just very difficult, you know, uh, being able to film and play at your highest, you know, skill level while you're filming. It's not the easiest but so yeah come in uh check out my other videos tell me what you want comment like subscribe and i will see you guys next time aloha